Well, a new BMW ownership wasn't going to be cheap, but this is next level. Hey everyone, welcome to Roads of Oz. My name is Matt. This is the first accessory I've bought for the bike. Now, on, on the rally, there's a provision to put a GPS, but I'm not really that interested in putting a GPS on it, and I really want to connect my phone. So I had a look, and BMW actually had a solution. It's a connected ride cradle. It, it can be added on to where the GPS unit normally goes. So an adapter, now I thought, um, just being a simple adapter, I really wasn't ready for the price. And when I was first told it was $4.95, I thought that was expensive. Well, hold on to your hats, it's gone up even more. Currently these are retailing for about $795 from BMW and that is daylight robbery. I always wanted to know what BMW stands for and at the moment it means you need a big mother of a wallet. All right, just jumping into the future a bit. Since I last filmed the pricing on this, BMW has informed me that the pricing for the phone mount is now back to around $500 odd dollars. I can't remember the exact amount, so apologies for that, but still it's better than 800, but it's still quite expensive at 500. Anyway, let's go back. I managed to find this one for $400 online, so I bought it and I thought, well, for half the price I'm prepared to risk and even at $400 I find this is just a touch expensive. So let's see how easy it is to install on the bike. Anyway, just opened up the box and comes with instructions and some good recommendations. Do not touch while riding. We'll have a quick read of the instructions. It looks fairly straightforward. It just clips in. It's fairly straightforward. So let's get into it. Oh. Yeah, let's not try to rip the whole thing off. That fucking does it. Look at lock it. And that looks like it's it. Alright, let's see how well the phone fits on it. Ah. Slide down like that. So the quad lock. Give it a tight fit. And what I was really worried about is. And yeah, here's what I was worried about. Pulling the bucks and it's not going to fit. Here's my top tip read the manual beforehand. You can adjust, you can make minor adjustments to the cradle. It will slide down, that will come out. Let's see if we can fit Mr. Phone. Now that comes forward, it goes in there. Oh, it's, a tight fit. it's a tight old fit. Let's see if it charges. Not, feels fairly sturdy. Up, oh, it's charging. Excellent, so it is charging. So I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and what I have, what I found is just easier to do. Is, well, it's not easier, it's just I take my phone out of the quad lock and just put it in like such and she's good to go. I prefer that, it just feels a lot more stable. The clips are all around it and it's not wedged in where this was, um, this it was only sitting on the end there. Always made me paranoid, but it never actually come out. Now in saying that with the phone like this, you do find it's actually blocking part of the TFT screen, but luckily the information it's blocking is actually all found on the, on the phone through the app. One of my other favorite things, and the reason, one of the other reasons I like having the phone here, you can actually see the lean angle. And it's a bit of a novelty, and a bit of a truth telling to it that you're not leaning as far as you thought, but great feature. So would I buy one again? Well, you have gotta ask yourself a couple of questions. One, are you ever likely to buy the GPS? And if you are, the mount's handy because you can remove the phone mount and just put the GPS unit straight in. Now me, I might end up getting the GPS, I'm not 100% sure, but if I wasn't, I would probably remove not only the phone mount, but also the uh, cradle for the whole thing and install a quad lock, vibration damper, wireless charger, and it would do the same job and probably not block off part of the screen like this one does. In all honesty, phone mount looks a lot better than the 
the quad lock. It does wirelessly charge when you haven't got the phone cover on there. Another reason I took the phone cover off was it wasn't charging properly. It'd be charging one second, then another second it wouldn't be. So I didn't like that. I do like being able to scroll through the, the app using and without taking my hand off the handlebars. I think that's great. There's a lot of pros to it, but again, the price might put people off. So would I get one? Well, like I said, if you're gonna buy GPS and interchange them, yes, but if you have no plans on getting a GPS, I most likely would not only not buy the, the phone mount, I'd also get rid of the cradle and have the quad lock system installed with the vibration damper and wireless charger. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks very much for watching. If you found the video interesting, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.